We talked about Walking Dead, we talked about global lockdowns, we talked about changing the battery on the remote for the BMW. Now we are talking about the front grille and how you can make it more beautiful. I am Bogdan and this is another interesting video. Many of you will consider changing the front grilles. I was also considering that, but because the Chinese knockoffs or the, the Chinese grills usually aren't very well built, I said that I will give a chance to, to Plasti Dip. Um, for those of you that don't know, Plasti Dip is a spray paint that once applied can be removed. It's like a rubbery thing. It gives a really nice finish and in theory can be applied easier than spraying something. So with that in mind, I've ordered a few, a few cans of this and proceeding, proceed that in removing the chrome from the front part of my BMW. Um, I've done a little bit of research. I've noticed that the front grille has a two-piece uh, two piece design. So you are able to remove the front, the, the bigger outer trim separately. And you have the main body also. Uh, when I've done that, I've noticed also that uh, the chrome, the big part is on the outer trim. And the part that is inside has a very, very small surface, which led me to the following idea. Um, I have done the chrome or I've um, plastic dipped only the outer trim and left the inside bit uh, normal with the chrome because it gives a 3D view or it gives a 3D feeling to, to that grill. From the distance because it's such a small surface it will make you think that it's a black chrome. So overall, I'm happy with the with the result. I'll show you pictures side by side and some comparison. Uh, but anyways, uh, my personal view is that the pictures don't really don't really show you the finished the finished view. When you see it in person and especially when the car is driving, it looks far far better. At the same time, I consider the plastic dip because. I was also planning of doing the lower part, so the fog lights will have some chromey accents and I wanted to remove both of them. Um, a thing that you have to keep in mind, this plastic dip, although it says black, it's more of a dark grey, so I was lucky that the plastic dip that I got, or the, the overall color, it's exactly the color of the car, so overall I'm very happy. But at the same time, you have to consider that um, this uh, this job will take more time than if you would change only the plastic trim. So factor that in your job. Think about it. Uh, if you want to do an easy swap, if you don't have that much space, if you don't have a garage, go for, for the grill that is already painted. Um, if you can spare the time, if you have the place, you can also try this plastic dip. Overall, I'm happy with the result. You will see pictures with before and after. And at the same time, I consider this a very... What's the word for it? A step that you can do if you're not really convinced that you want to, to change that grill. Um, it's something that is reversible. It keeps the, the OEM fit and it doesn't affect affect the overall strength of your front bumper. I hope that this video helps. If I forgot anything or if you have ideas for, for any future videos, please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I will try to survive the global lockdown and not get terribly bored. Uh, hopefully your comments and your feedback will help me pass the time. And on that note, I shall, I shall be seeing you in the next video.